let's talk about the piano roll in Logic 10.1. So I'm going to take the drummer that I had here and drag it up to a MIDI channel. All right, I have a software instrument here. Uh, maybe I'll go back to picking Drum Machine Designer. If I go to Drum Machine, Drum Machine Designer is at the top. And first things first, close up the library, open up my piano roll by hitting P, and select one of these regions. Now I'm going to open this up a bit. When we work on drums, it's not necessary for us to see the entire range of the piano roll. We really only need to look at the drums. So one thing that's kind of neat is we have a collapse mode. If we select this button here, it collapses things down to just the drums that we're working with, or just the notes that we're working with. We also have the ability to view, instead of notes, we can view drum names. So right now we get our drum names on the left-hand side, and it makes it much easier when we're doing programming. Along with that, uh, if I go up to the top of the screen here in the uh, tracks area and click on this button, it's automatically going to zoom these tracks to the window shape. So if I open the piano roll up really high, it makes these really small. If I close it down, they get nice and big. If I add a new instrument, they, whoops, wrong button. If I make a new software instrument, it automatically distributes them properly, which is pretty cool. If I select both of these regions, we can see that those regions have been collapsed as well. And all I need to do is double click on any of those notes. I double click on the background, it takes me into the other regions. So that's pretty cool. Now I'm going to select just this first region here for a second. And I want to talk about um, repeating stuff. So if I go in here and let's say I have the hi-hat, I'm going to write a new hi-hat note using my pencil tool. If I just hit Command R, you can see that it's going to repeat the hi-hat every quarter note. What I need to do is I need to redefine um, what I'm drawing. And normally what we would do in the past is we would take you know, our pencil tool and we'd redefine where the note was and then hit Command R. Uh, and we would end up a little dialogue screen. It would say, hey, um, where do you want to line these up? And blah, 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 blah. Well, now we have something really special called time handles. If I come up to the time handles here, check this out. Um, I'm going to just click and drag over this note and hit Command R. So it's only going to repeat that note. Well, what if I actually wanted to take the kick and the hi-hat? I hit Command R. Not only is it repeating them, but it's not repeating them every 16th note because, you know, it's not putting them right next to each other. It's actually taking in mind the space that I created using the time handles. If I was to redefine the time handles, that redefines how they're going to be copying and pasting. Time handles are pretty amazing. Basically, if I select... Okay, how do we keep that from happening? Well, <laughs> turn off your MIDI out. There you go. Okay, so with the time handles, I can do really interesting stuff. Like, I can compress time. If I take this time handle and pull it to the left, you can see that the selection that I had just changed. It just time compressed. Uh, another thing I can do is I can select everything with the time handles. So there I go. Selected everything. Uh, now I'm going to actually take the time handles stem, which is just this little area here, and pull it to the left, and then I'll grab the left time, time handle. Oops, actually I need the time handle to be a little bit more accurate. There we go. Pull this over. Come on. Yeah, I'm pulling the region. That's actually a new thing in the uh, piano roll I wanted to talk about as well. But there we go. Now I grab my time handle. Whoa, I'm flipping time, man. So I selected the whole thing, and then I basically took the stem of one of the time handles and pulled it over, but all of the notes are selected. So it gives me the ability to actually flip everything that's being played, which is pretty cool. And we can still do time compression. And that's pretty rad. So the time handles... <laughs> 
have a myriad of uses. I mean, you can take an entire pattern here and just choose, you know, the kick, snare, and hat, hit repeat. That's all good. I'll turn my collapse mode off. So the next thing we need to talk about is um, you know, we'll need to explore the brush tool because the brush tool is brand new in the piano roll editor and it's absolutely nuts what it can do, especially when we mix it in with time handles. Very much like to thank Pyramide for hosting me here once again. Um, I think this institution is really cool and until I came here for the first time, I had never seen anything like it in my whole life. What I think really separates us from other people who teach is that we are outrageously passionate about what we do, and especially in electronic music. Since, since coming to Pyramind, I, I've discovered electronic music. And you know, San Francisco being a mecca for underground electronic music opened up so many doors for me and kind of blew my mind. We cover everything from absinthe to contact. When people get to the mind-melting level, uh, we get into modular synthesis. Everything about native instruments, everything about logic synths, down to the, the finest detail, we, we learned it all. The fundamentals of understanding how things work, that's just essential. But then beyond that, there's so much more, and that's where it gets into just a lot of, of the artistic side of like the creative approach of, of why you do something, not just how. There's a lot of schools that just you know, they focus on the technicality of, of recording music, um, but I wanted something that would foster creativity and, and really help me develop as an artist as well. Each of our genre-specific programs comes in four levels. There's a basic, an advanced, a professional, and then a master's level. And the master's level is, of course, everything we do. It's the largest and most powerful programs that we can create for you.